The hit TV drama, Law and Order, stands as one of the longest-running live-action scripted shows in American television history, airing on NBC from 1990 to 2010 for an impressive 20 seasons. Created by Dick Wolf, the series followed the intricate world of the New York criminal justice system, showcasing both law enforcement and prosecution aspects. Notable actors like Sam Waterston, Essa Patha Merkerson, and Jerry Orbach were central to the show's success, while many others played pivotal roles in the 27th Homicide District of the New York Police Department and the New York District Attorney's Office. Although some cast members remain active in the industry, others have sadly passed away in recent years. In this video, we pay tribute to these extraordinary talents by highlighting their careers, memorable scenes, and the lasting impact they left on audiences. Join us as we honor their legacy and remember their significant contributions to television. Jerry Orbach Detective Lenny Briscoe, played by Jerry Orbach, is a central and cherished character in the Law and Order series. Briscoe is a veteran detective with years of experience. Known for his witty remarks, dry humor, and straightforward approach to solving crimes. His outstanding investigative abilities and extensive knowledge make him a key asset to each case. Briscoe skillfully balances being firm yet empathetic, easily navigating interactions with witnesses and suspects while always upholding justice. Off-screen, Orbach's career also spanned theater and film. He earned a Tony Award for Promises, Promises, and appeared in acclaimed musicals such as The Fantastics, Chicago, and 42nd Street. His filmography includes roles in Dirty Dancing, Crimes and Misdemeanors, and Beauty and the Beast, which expanded his fame worldwide. Diagnosed with prostate cancer in 1994, Orbach underwent radiation therapy and hormone treatment while continuing his role on Law and Order for a decade. After leaving the series in 2004, he underwent chemotherapy, but sadly, Orbach passed away in December of that year at the age of 69. Stephen Hill Schiff is known for his calm, measured demeanor and steadfast commitment to upholding the law and seeking justice. As the head of the district attorney's office, he oversees the legal side of cases, guiding his assistant district attorney and weighing in on complex ethical and legal issues. Schiff's decades of experience in the justice system lend him a commanding presence and an air of authority. He demonstrates a strong sense of integrity and loyalty to his team, supporting them in their pursuits while keeping them focused on the ethical aspects of their work. Schiff's character is essential to the show's dynamic, providing a moral compass and grounding force amid the chaos of legal battles and criminal investigations. Also, Dan Briggs in the CBS action television series Mission, Impossible, 1966-1967. He previously received two nominations for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. Hill died of cancer in a New York hospital on August 23, 2016, at the age of 94. Fred Thompson District Attorney Arthur Branch, offering a unique approach to the legal team. Branch, with his background as a former U.S. Attorney General and politician, brings a pragmatic, no-nonsense style to the role. His conservative views are balanced by his down-to-earth demeanor and occasional humor, making him a standout character who simplifies complex legal situations. He isn't afraid to make difficult decisions, even if it means opposing popular opinion, to uphold the integrity of the justice system. Beyond acting, Thompson had a notable career in national security and intelligence. Chairing the International Security Advisory Board at the U.S., Department of State and participating in other significant roles. In 2010, he became the spokesperson for American Advisors Group, a reverse mortgage lender. Thompson passed away on November 1, 2015, at the age of 73 due to a relapse of lymphoma. His funeral was attended by notable figures such as Senators John McCain and Lamar Alexander, and he was laid to rest in Mimosa Cemetery in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Dennis Farina Fontana is known for his street-smart approach to policing, blending sharp intelligence with smooth charm. As a veteran detective, he approaches cases with confidence and creativity, using his extensive experience to tackle investigations with efficiency and a unique style. Fontana's investigative techniques often involve thinking outside the box, which, combined with his instinctive decision-making, helps him solve cases effectively. His bold personality and quick wit make him a valuable member of the team. Offering both innovative insights and memorable one-liners, 
Fontana's distinct perspective adds a new dimension to the show, while his chemistry with fellow detectives enhances its overall narrative. Beyond, Law and Order, Farina appeared in the HBO series, Luck, in 2012 and played a recurring role in, New Girl, in 2013. His final film role was in the adaptation of the musical, Lucky Stiff. Farina passed away on July 22, 2013, from a pulmonary embolism, and he is buried at Mount Carmel Cemetery in Hillside, Illinois. Lynn Cohen Judge Elizabeth Misener, with a wealth of legal knowledge and an unwavering commitment to justice, she presides over cases with authority and integrity. Her steady demeanor and impartial judgment help guide legal teams through complicated cases, ensuring proceedings remain just and focused. Misener's impartiality and courage in making difficult decisions showcase her dedication to upholding the law. Her no-nonsense approach and measured attitude command respect from everyone in her courtroom. Providing stability in high-pressure situations. Her calm, rational approach highlights the importance of ethical legal practices, making her a memorable and significant part of law and order. Beyond law and order, Cohen is known for her roles as Magda in Sex and the City and Mags in The Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Her performance as Judge Misener left a lasting impression on viewers, demonstrating her consistent dedication to the law. Cohen passed away on February 14, 2020, in New York, at the age of 86. Doris Balak Judge Barry, played by Doris Balak, was a notable New York Supreme Court justice featured in 10 episodes of Law and & Order, and two episodes of Law & Order, SVU, from 1990 to 2001. Judge Barry demanded solid evidence from the prosecution and could be seen as a tough and decisive figure in the courtroom. In Season 11's episode, School Days, she played a key role in weakening McCoy's case against an alleged school shooter by allowing the defense, led by Carrie Lowell's Jamie Ross, to suppress crucial evidence, including the suspected murder weapon. Doris Balak was a well-respected actress with a strong background in New York stage and television. She was also known for her comedic roles in films like Tootsie and What About Bob, as well as her voice work in the video game. Grand Theft Auto 4, which was her final acting project. Balak passed away at the age of 85 in New York City on October 4, 2011. James Rebhorn Defense attorney Charles Garnett, played by James Rebhorn, emerges as a consistently strong character, known for his legal prowess and fierce commitment to his clients. Garnett takes on high-profile cases with a meticulous approach, focusing on securing the best outcomes for his clients with careful strategic planning. His assertive and formidable presence in the courtroom often places him in direct opposition to the district attorneys, setting the stage for riveting legal showdowns. Rebhorn's portrayal of Garnett dives deep into the intricacies of the legal system, highlighting the intense and sometimes controversial battles that unfold between defense and prosecution. Beyond law and order, Rebhorn showcased his range as an actor by taking on a variety of roles across different genres. In the film, Baby Mama, he played a judge, while in The Box, he took on the role of a NASA scientist. He also made a memorable appearance as Special Agent Reese Hughes on the series White Collar, and starred in Comedy Central's sitcom Big Lake in 2010. In 2011, he played Max Kenton's uncle in the film Real Steel, and in 2012, he appeared in the Mike Birbiglia comedy Sleepwalk With Me as Gary Pandemilia. James Rebhorn passed away at his home in South Orange, New Jersey, on March 21, 2014, after a prolonged battle with melanoma, which he had been fighting since 1992. Richard Belzer Richard Belzer's character John Munch is a standout presence known for his sharp wit, deep skepticism, and commitment to justice. Initially introduced as a detective in Homicide, Life on the Street, Munch transitioned to Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, SVU, where he gained a loyal following. Munch's knack for conspiracy theories and dry humor set him apart from his colleagues, making him an engaging and complex character. Despite his sardonic nature, Munch is dedicated to solving intricate cases and upholding the law. His well-developed backstory delves into his troubled personal life, including failed marriages and past military service, enriching his character and adding layers of depth to the show. Outside of his work on Law and Order, Belzer had a notable career in comedy, including involvement with the National Lampoon Radio Hour alongside stars like John Belushi and Chevy Chase. 
He also voiced a character in South Park and appeared in an episode of Sesame Street. Belzer passed away on February 19, 2023, in Beausoles, France, due to complications from respiratory disease. He was 78 years old. Ned Eisenberg Defense attorney James Granick, played by Ned Eisenberg, known for his sharp legal expertise and confident presence in the courtroom. Granick's legal practice involves representing clients in complex and high-stakes cases, where he adeptly navigates challenging legal battles. His strong sense of justice and keen understanding of the law make him a powerful adversary to prosecutors. Granick's courtroom style is meticulous and strategic, using careful tactics to advance his client's interests. His bold and sometimes combative demeanor brings intensity to legal proceedings, emphasizing the competitive nature of the justice system. Despite his aggressive approach, Granick maintains professionalism and respect toward his opponents. His performances enhance the show's exploration of the legal system and provide viewers with insight into the complexities defense attorneys face in defending their clients. In addition to his work on screen, Eisenberg co-founded the Nude Angels Theatre Company with his friend Fisher Stevens in 1987. Tragically, he passed away at the age of 65 on February 27, 2022, at his home in New York due to complications from cholangiocarcinoma. Larry Sherman Judge Colin Fraser, portrayed by Larry Sherman, stands out in the Law and Order series for his equitable and direct approach on the bench. As he presides over a range of cases, Fraser is known for his firm yet unbiased rulings, placing a strong emphasis on adhering to legal standards. Fraser's deep respect for justice and legal protocol allows him to handle complex cases with confidence and fairness. His presence on the bench is crucial, as he balances the interests of all parties involved and ensures that each case is judged according to the law. Sherman's performance as Judge Fraser enriches the series, showcasing the vital role judges play in the legal system and providing a nuanced look at the challenges they face in their profession. Aside from his role in Law and Order, Sherman was recognized for his work in other productions like One Fine Day and The Sopranos. Sadly, he passed away in New York, New York, on August 26, 2017. Paul Sorvino Sergeant Phil Choretta, known for his composed and methodical approach to solving crimes. Choretta, an experienced detective, serves as a stabilizing force within his team, guiding and mentoring younger colleagues. His careful and deliberate investigative style allows him to navigate complex cases with thoughtfulness and attention to detail. His empathy and dedication to helping victims shine through in his approach to police work. Sorvino's portrayal brings depth to the role, showcasing the intricacies of a seasoned detective balancing the pressures of his job with personal life. Soretta's presence adds authenticity to the series, highlighting the ethical challenges faced by law enforcement officers. Sorvino's time in the role left a lasting impression, making him a relatable and grounded character for viewers. Beyond Law and Order, Sorvino's achievements include a Tony Award nomination for his role in That Championship Season. He also had a successful career in film and television adaptations and was the father of actors Mira Sorvino and Michael Sorvino. Paul Sorvino passed away from natural causes at the Mayo Clinic Florida in Jacksonville on July 25, 2022, at the age of 83. He was laid to rest at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Joanna Merlin Defense attorney Deirdre Powell, played by Joanna Merlin, is a key character in the Law and Order series known for her formidable legal skills and calm demeanor in the courtroom. Powell's extensive legal knowledge and strategic acumen allow her to expertly navigate complex and high-profile cases. Demonstrating a clear-headed approach even under pressure, her ability to maintain her poise and make precise decisions in challenging situations showcases her confidence and experience as a defense attorney. Her assertive and direct manner in the courtroom helps her present persuasive arguments and conduct effective cross-examinations, often giving her an edge against opposing counsel. This dedication to her craft earns her a reputation as a formidable legal adversary. Beyond her time on Law and Order, Merlin's impact extended to her work in academia, where she taught at NYU's Tisch School of the Arts and founded the Michael Chekhov Society. Tragically, Merlin passed away from myelodysplastic syndrome at her daughter's home in Los Angeles on October 15, 2023, at the age of 92. Joan Copeland Trial Judge Rebecca Stein, played by Joan Copeland, known for her impartiality and commitment to upholding justice. As a trial judge, 
Stein presides over a wide range of cases, bringing a strong sense of order and respect to the courtroom. Her clear and direct communication style helps maintain smooth and efficient proceedings, ensuring that legal processes run without unnecessary interruptions. She tackles complex legal matters with confidence and authority, making her a respected and reliable figure in the show's legal landscape. Her performance gives viewers insight into the challenging decisions judges face while striving to remain neutral and unbiased. Copeland's role brings authenticity and gravity to the series, highlighting the vital importance of judges in delivering justice. Beyond her work on Law and Order, Copeland had a successful career in other television roles, including appearances on soap operas such as Search for Tomorrow and One Life to Live. She also lent her voice to the character Tanana in Brother Bear. Copeland passed away at the age of 99 in Manhattan on January 4, 2022. Bruce McVitie Arvin Baker's appearances range from being a witness to a suspect or legal professional. Showcasing McVitie's versatility as an actor, his performances imbue Baker with depth and complexity, making him a multifaceted figure who navigates challenging scenarios. Baker's engagements with the main cast bring a sense of realism to the show by highlighting the intricacies of the legal system. He is often at the center of intense moments, offering critical information or testimony that can shift the outcome of a case. McVitie's authentic portrayal adds layers of intrigue and tension to the narrative, captivating viewers and keeping them invested in the story. Beyond Law and Order, McVitie also appeared in notable productions such as The Sopranos and the Academy Award-winning film Million Dollar Baby. His passing on May 7, 2022, at the age of 65. Merwin Goldsmith Arraignment Judge Ian Feist, portrayed by Merwin Goldsmith, as an arraignment judge, Feist's responsibilities involve setting the course for cases as they enter the judicial system, balancing the need for fairness with strict adherence to the law. His decisions at this stage can have a significant impact on the immediate trajectory of a case, including determining bail and other pretrial arrangements. Feist's presence in the courtroom is defined by his calm and composed demeanor. He effectively manages proceedings, guiding attorneys and defendants through the arraignment process with clear communication and authority. His impartiality and dedication to upholding legal standards earn him the respect of the legal professionals he encounters. Goldsmith's performance enhances the show's exploration of the legal system and underscores the challenges judges face in ensuring justice from the very beginning of a case. Aside from his role in Law and Order, Goldsmith's career included notable performances in productions such as The Stormfighter, Playing Cards, and It Could Happen to You. He passed away on January 21, 2019, in New York City. Dick Latessa Bishop Durning, played by Dick Latessa, is often caught up in complex cases that touch on moral and ethical questions. Providing the series with a fresh perspective as he navigates the often blurred lines between faith and the law. By offering spiritual guidance and support to those facing legal challenges, Durning brings a thoughtful and compassionate viewpoint to the series. His interactions with the main cast spark discussions on conscience and morality, enriching the show's exploration of the pursuit of justice. His performance sheds light on the complexities of harmonizing spiritual beliefs with the demands of the legal system. Offering a fresh angle on the show's main themes, he was celebrated for his Tony Award-winning role in the musical, Hairspray, and recognized for his roles in soap operas such as The Edge of Night and One Life to Live. Latessa's talent left a significant impact on the entertainment world, and his death on December 19, 2016, in New York City at the age of 87, was a loss to the arts community. Mike Hodge Trial Judge Delano Burns, portrayed by Mike Hodge. As a trial judge, Burns presides over a variety of cases and is known for his balanced, unbiased judgments that adhere strictly to legal standards. His strong commitment to justice and meticulous approach to legal proceedings make him an essential part of the show's depiction of the legal system. Judge Burns maintains a calm and composed demeanor on the bench, ensuring that courtroom processes run smoothly and efficiently. His clear understanding of legal principles and his capacity to keep order highlight his unwavering dedication to upholding the law. Hodge's role underscores the show's commitment to portraying judicial integrity and the importance of a fair and impartial legal system. Outside of Law and Order, Hodge enjoyed a successful career in both film and theater. His artistic versatility and skill earned him recognition in the entertainment industry. Notably, 
Hodge was honored with a Doctor of Letters degree from the University of the West of England, Bristol, in 2005. He passed away on December 17, 2022, from heart failure at his home in Dorset at the age of 90. Robert Hogan Trial Judge Hugo Bright, portrayed by Robert Hogan. As a trial judge, Bright oversees a wide array of cases with an unwavering commitment to fairness and objectivity, earning him a respected place in the legal community on the show. His reputation for making clear and well-reasoned rulings based on legal guidelines emphasizes his dedication to justice. Judge Bright's calm and composed demeanor on the bench helps maintain order in the courtroom, and his steady management of legal proceedings allows for smooth and efficient trials. His impartiality and consistent adherence to the law serve as a model for how justice should be administered, providing a strong sense of balance and integrity to the courtroom. His work extended to off-Broadway plays such as, Farther Than the Farthest, and Accomplice, and his appearance in the FBI episode, All the Streets Are Silent, was even featured in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2013, Hogan passed away on May 27, 2021, from complications related to pneumonia at his home in Maine. Thank you for joining us in paying tribute to the deceased actors of Law and Order. Their dedication and talent enriched the show, making it the iconic series it is today. These actors may no longer be with us, but their legacies live on through their unforgettable characters and moving portrayals. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.